Christy Miller, and this is day two of how to write a journalistic article or how to teach your kids to write a journalistic article. This can be used by homeschooling parents, it can be used by teachers who are new, maybe some English teacher wants to add a little bit of dimension to their English class. So yesterday we talked about the difference between an essay and a journalistic article. So today I'm going to hone in a little bit more on how to write the journalistic article. And the first thing you need to know is it's written as what's called an inverted pyramid. That's what this triangle is back here, inverted pyramid. And it always starts with a headline. Essays have titles, journalistic articles have headlines. And the headline should be short and sweet. I always tell my students, think about if you had to pay $5 for that word, would you include it? Maybe not. So shorten it down. Always has to have a verb in it and always has to have uh, a present tense verb instead of a, a past tense verb. Um, so that makes it kind of challenge to write headlines. Um, then the next thing you need to know is the first paragraph is called a lead. And a lead is usually <clears throat> 20 to 30 words, one to two sentences. And that lead will tell all the important details. Who, what, when, where, why, and how. And if some of that, the answers to some of those questions can be put later, they will go in the body of the paragraph. The body of the, of the article is made up of many, many paragraphs. And those paragraphs are usually between 20 and oh, 60 at the most, but usually not that many in a row. You can put quotes in separate paragraphs with who said it. And then information just goes to less and less important. And the reason that is, is because journalistic articles should be able to be cut at any place. So if I'm an editor and somebody comes into the office and says, I want to buy an advertisement and I want to go, to go on page three, and your article's on page three, I should be able to say, sorry, but we have to cut it right there. And um, your article should be able to stop here because with journalistic writing, there's no ending. You just tell the information in the order of importance. So if you cut some things off, they probably didn't need to be known by the audience. It could have add some, added some more spice to your article, but it's probably not necessary. So when you write a journalistic article, you're looking for a priority. What goes in the lead? What goes in the body? Uh, what can be cut out if you don't? need it. So we'll talk about that uh, a little bit more um, in day three, but I want to show you a little bit about leads today. If I gave you information like this, John Burke, he's 26, he's a college graduate, local student, he's a water ski champion, and he's going to Shaver Lake, California to compete in August at the West Coast Water Ski Championships. There are going to be over 300 competitors from 40 different states. They each get three attempts at jumping, at speed, and doing tricks. And Burke took first place after four days in the competition here locally. And now he's going to move to the national championships at Lake Michigan in June. So part of this has happened. Part of this is going to happen. Um, so. What we're going to do in our article is start the lead with an action word. Never start with the. The is boring. So let me give you some examples of how you could start. After four days of competition at the West Coast Water Skiing Championship, local John Burke, comma, 26, comma, brought home a first place trophy and will now move on to the national championships back east in June. Uh, um, in June. There you go who, what, one more, why, and how. The people then can decide if they want to read more about the article. Here's another way to start. After showing himself to be a first place West Coast competitor in water skiing, John Burke, etc. Plans for local Western graduate John Burke, 26, to compete in the National Water Skiing Championships next summer are underway, etc. John Burke, 26. Now he's probably the most important thing, so starting with him would be okay. 26 took home the first place trophy at the Schaefer Lake Water Ski Championships in August. Here's one. After taking the speed, trick, and jump records at the Western Water, Western Water Skiing Championships in August, so on. Here's the one that's my student's favorite. 
beating out over 300 water skiers, Western resident or Bellingham resident John Burke, 26, came home with a first place trophy and is now making plans to head for Michigan for the national championships next summer. And then more details would follow in the body of the paragraph. So I give you some examples of how to squeeze things in to one to two sentences, preferably one, 20 to 30 words in the lead. And then you have to prioritize what goes next. And we'll talk about that tomorrow. Thank you. Hope you're enjoying this. Bye-bye.